Okay, the next phase after you get done with brainstorming is to do some low fidelity prototyping. So once you've come up with that big list of ideas from your brainstorming session, you probably have a pretty good feel for what the best of those ideas are. And a really smart thing to do at this point is to build really simple versions of those things so that you can get them into 3D space and start to feel what works well with them and what doesn't. So you can start to vet those ideas. Um, and this is a really good thing to do before you go into your formal decision-making process so you really have some experience with what works and what doesn't in these ideas. You can create your low fidelity prototypes using really simple craft type materials to build something just rough and dirty that it conveys the idea. You focus on representing the idea to the user without spending a lot of time or money. These prototypes should take at most 10 to 15 minutes to put together. It could be something as simple as pen and paper doing a storyboard of an app or a website, or it could be some complex mechanism, but you want to do a really simple version of it, okay? So just trying to get to the core ideas of what you came up with in your brainstorming session. You'll then want to take those, once you've vetted them with your team and refine them a little bit, to your users and get some feedback with them. You can really learn a lot from a low fidelity prototype without spending a whole bunch of time building complex prototypes. So going with our example of the ISBVI team, you can see they built this low fidelity prototype. And it's basically a, a piece of cardboard that they've taped joints together so that you can see how it would all fold up and fall in. So this would be their um, iPad stand and they've labeled it iPads, so you can tell. And then they have the various arms that fold up into this and a cover that goes across the top. So you can see how you can communicate an idea visually and where you can kind of feel it and see how it works and get a lot more information than just a drawing. So to recap low fidelity prototyping, it's a really great way to get your project partner engaged. You can give them something they can feel and talk about, especially if you're in a project early on and you have a design review coming up and you want to be able to get some feedback from your users. You really want to err on the side of action. So don't sit around trying to plan the perfect version of your product. Get building. And avoid jumping into those full prototype builds where you're trying to build a full working prototype with end type materials because you'll spend lots and lots of time to discover a problem with that design that you could have found out from something you built in 10 minutes. So now it's your turn. This is a hands-on activity. I want you to build a really quick prototype of one of your solutions for your project. It should take you less than 10 minutes. So it could be paper, cardboard, anything like that that you can build a physical solution out of. Once you're done with that, reflect on how this simple physical embodiment of your project could be used in communicating the concept to someone else, especially your community partners.